Hi, I'm David G and this is another video for Juniper Networks. In this video, an engineer will take you through the steps required to use the Juniper Terraform Automation Framework or JTAF. This includes some basic installation requirements and the exact steps in order to produce a Terraform provider for Junos. In this video, we will see how to use JTAF module to generate Terraform providers from Junos YAN files. We have cloned the JTAF from GitHub to our local repository. JTAF module is divided in two parts, process YAN and process providers. Process YAN is the first step and process providers follows it. Process YAN converts YAN files to YIN files and lists down all the XPath present in the YAN file. YAM files can be found at GitHub repository of Juniper. The same is mentioned in the README. We can copy the required YAM files from the GitHub to a local repository on our system. We will generate the process YAM binary. Process YAM takes two inputs, path of YAM file and in what format we want to generate exports. By default, it is text format, but it can also be generated as XML for a better UI interface or both of them can be generated. This is a sample set for this scenario. I have copied two YAN files here. The arguments can be passed from command line or through a config file. In this example, we are passing through a config file. These are the two different parameters which will be used for process YAN. Since the file type is both, the XPath will be generated in both formats. We will execute and check the results. YIN file is generated for both and also XPaths are generated in both the formats. YAN file is the XML representation of the YAN file. As you can see, both the YAN files are generated. Similarly, all the XPaths are listed here. The XML format is same representation, but just in XML format for the users who are more comfortable going through in a browser. The user can use these XPaths to generate the required providers. As you can notice, we didn't pass the YAN file names or how many YAN files are present. So this is independent of the number of YAN files or their name and will generate YAN files and XPath for all of them. The second is process providers. Process providers is used to generate the providers. The user has to list down all the XPaths for which they want to generate providers. Process providers takes three inputs, path of YAN file, XPath list file, and the repository where the providers are to be generated. It is recommended to generate the providers inside the Terraform provider directory. In case the input path is not Terraform providers, then copy these three Go files to the path you have given. This is a sample set for this scenario. That again, the arguments can be passed through command line or through config file. 
In this example, we will use the config files. We will compile the process providers. This is the XPath file we have made. In this example, we are using config file and generating three modules from the access young file. Some configuration can be group based and some doesn't require group details. There is a group file for the same and it is true by default. For the sake of testing, we will generate the third module with group as false and we will see the difference. Let's generate the providers. It is expected that uh, three modules will be generated in Terraform provider directory as seen in the config file. As you can see, three files are generated. So this has groups in its structure. If we see the files again, dynamic requests should not have groups in their structure. So if we see here, there are no group sub element in the structure, which is present for the other two. This is how a Terraform provider will look like. We will go to the Terraform provider directory. And generate a binary which will be used for the Terraform API. The generated binary will be used to let us execute the Terraform API on the Juno's device. 